Hello fellow engineers, welcome back. We are continuing our world tour and creating more real bridges in Polybridge. So this episode we're in America. Born in the USA. Born in the USA. Yep, that's right. We're in America. <laughs> and I got a lot of comments for American bridges, so I'm probably going to do a couple of episodes. So for this video I picked three from the comments that you guys left me and these are absolute beauties, I'm not going to lie, there's some really cool bridges in America. Right, so I've got sort of everything set up, I'm just going to add a vehicle in quick. I will probably just do a Vespa and I think that's pretty much it for the level select. We're going to go into build mode and start building our bridge. So first things first, we are going to do road straight across. My main structure is up the middle here, so I'm going to do some sort of trussy cross braced square thing. I'm going to copy a few of those and essentially when I get to about this height I'm going to want to proper bunch these up so I can't go any smaller than that to the grid. So I'm just going to do like that now, I'll just do loads of those. And then I'm just going to bung a point on top. Okay, so now I have this sort of structured shape. I've kind of spread out the size in the middle just to make them match. And although this is close to what it looks like, I'm going to use this line tool. I'm basically going to move these top ones in. One. And then I'm going to do a line from the bottom to the top, just to make it look a lot more realistic. So if I turn off the snap, I'm going to move each of these across without moving them up or down too much, just to the center of that new line. All right, so I've just done that with the one side. I'm going to copy them, mirror. Now we've got this sort of needle shape. I'm going to have to draw my cross braces back in. But that won't take too long. All right, and now the really fun bit. So I'm going to take my cable. I kind of set this road up so it's bang in the middle. So this first cable goes straight to the point and then Every other cable will just do the next bit of road. So I go down one cable and do the next bit of road. And this, because of the way it's spaced out, like it's not equal up here, but it is down here, it will make a really cool pattern. Uh, as long as I can remember <laughs> what one I got to. You, know, you can see these cables are kind of making this sort of nice curvy shape here. It's not curves, it's just a load of straight lines, but it looks cool. And we're done on that side, so I'm going to copy all these and mirror and that should, I say should, be perfectly balanced about this point now, so when I press play, <laughs> let's hope it should stand because the forces are all balanced and hopefully when this little dude drives across it won't collapse, but we will see. Oh, it's wibbly. <laughs> Oh my god, it's really wibbly. Oh, it's looking good though. Damn, I'm not entirely... <laughs> not entirely sure why one side of this bridge seems to be stressed and not the other side. So yeah, so there you have it. This is the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge in Dallas, Texas. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do the awesome curve up the top because Polybridge only works in 2D. But I think got pretty close. I got the wires really nice looking in here. And that's an absolutely gorgeous bridge. I love that, not gonna lie. And if we just have a little look at the old stress to see how this works, or should work. <laughs> so ignore the, uh, the movement and the bendiness. So essentially you have this middle column and this is just a complete hench bit of metal. And then all the cables completely symmetrical either side and these just hold the bridge up so you can see if we take this end cable it's got the weight of this road on the end and it's gonna try and pull this tower over but it's completely balanced by the other side exactly identical situation and then you just slowly work in usually these sorts of bridges the cables they just go they just go straight like that so one there you'd have another one there and this is called a cable stay bridge because the cables make it stay in place. But yeah, this one, obviously an architect got involved and uh, 
went a bit crazy and did the opposite way around on the cables, but it's cool, it looks nice. I mean, in real life, if we had this situation, it would be carnage, all these wires would cross over. But the fact on the real bridge we have this curve here means you can get away with crossing these cables over. But yeah, so hope you like that one, guys. Now off to our next American beauty. Right, so this next one, it's a big mofo. So it's really tall and it's really quite wide. I don't exactly know how big I'm going to do this in Polybridge. All right, so let's get that out of the way. So I'm going to need quite a lot of bits of terrain. And essentially I'm going to do this. So it's sort of a 45 degree. Yeah, pretty much 45 degrees. So, all right, let's see if that holds. Sorry, let's get rid of that. Let's see if that holds. So not quite, but now I can go about adding the extra anchors in. So you got one under this one, and another one under this one. All right, so I would do it like that, but I kind of want to make it look the same throughout. So these really need to be muscles. All right, so let's see if this end will hold. Yes, okay, so that's good. That's really good. All right, so I think we've got Ah shit, wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> so now we've got seven spans to the middle. So I think that's the middle of our bridge. Alright, so we're putting a curve in from here to there. Wish there was a way to do like a perfect radius rather than these weird complex curves. See, it looks too far. It doesn't look right, that. Oh, actually, I've just noticed. These spans, they're different. Okay, that could change everything a bit. So these ones are actually smaller once we get to that curve. I think it's a bit more like that. Oh my god, I literally just typed PL, which is polyline in my work <laughs> program, AutoCAD. So if I was trying to draw a line in my work program, I wouldn't like click down on whatever. I'd just type PL, which means polyline. <laughs> I just typed PL. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we've got the basic shape. So I'm just going to... Oh no, it doesn't reach. It doesn't reach. Okay, we can fix that. That's just a bit of tweaking. There we go. No one will ever know. Alright, so to remedy these ones, I'm gonna just do a straight line. That will bung one in the middle. And then we'll make that a cross brace like that. So it should look the same in that view. Alright, so now I need to fix these. And I'm gonna, just to keep it looking similar, I'm going to do the same sort of layout, so delete all that. <laughs> right, and then we want to, I think we want to mirror that, and then we can build the rest of the level around it. Nice. Right, so let's put our anchor points in, which are our foundations. Right, and then before we even check this works, I'm going to build the rest of the level, which I don't know why, I should probably check it first. Otherwise this could be a massive waste of time. But I like the surprise element at the end, <laughs> where I'm massively let down. Hey, it's not a milestone video, so there's every chance I could succeed for once. Alright, so I think terrain's nearly there. I've just got to add in all of these vertical pieces, because otherwise that's going to be a disaster. To be honest, it might still be a massive disaster. <laughs> I'm not 100% confident in this. It's a big mofo. I just don't know if steel is strong enough. Well... Oh no! Oh... Okay, that didn't go very well. Let's slow right down and try and work out what's happening. Okay, so the roads seem to be breaking. Let's try then. Just as a starter for 10. That's a weird saying, isn't it? Starter for 10. Let's reinforce all these roads. Just because it's a big old structure, it's going to have a lot of movement. Oh. Okay, so it looks like I could really lower the weight of this. Look how much that sags. That's so much weight in the middle. Let's just see. This probably won't work. But let's see. Can we replace all of these? With single pieces, just so it's a lot lighter. Also looks way more realistic. Okay, so let's see, it's still a lot of weight. You can see it 
sagging. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I've done it. It actually worked. Just getting rid of those middle nodes by the weight. That's awesome. Okay, so this one broke. Let me just see if I were to turn the grid off. Just make that a little bit bigger. <laughs> I've done it. Okay, final test then. Hang on, what stress was that on? Okay, I saw that go to 98. But it settles around 83. So let's see how strong this thing is. I'm gonna start with a compact car. This might be too much. I'm gonna I'm gonna wang a boat down here as well. Actually, I think this is more of a steamboat type place. Oh, I am so pleased that I took those muscles out. Shit, son! <laughs> Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's let's just try a bike, a little moped, a Vespa. Let's see if we have the weight to support. 83 is looking okay. Oh no, it's going to die. It's going to die. 90. Oh, no way it's going to do it. It went up to 99 at one stage. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Let's see what the stress is at the end of this. 99.2. <laughs> wow. Okay, so if you're wondering what bridge this is, it's the... what is it called? <laughs> this is the New River Gorge Bridge in West Virginia. A couple of people come to this. Thank you very much for the suggestion, because that is a wicked bridge. A proper engineering bridge. You can see... <laughs> you see there's a bit of a curve in it. So, <laughs> I didn't engineer the best solution there, but it works. Let me know how I did in the comments. I think it was, I think I did all right, if I'm honest. I think it's pretty similar. But yeah, we're going to continue on our American journey to our third and final bridge. And this is another cable stayed one, just as a bit of a, bit of a clue. All right, so this one, I'm doing a 40 meter span. I'm going to add some terrain. Because on this side, we got a little bit of a step thing going on. Added another anchor down here. And then another one down this side. And I think we're good to go. Right, so this one is rowed straight across. So I'll quickly fill that in. And then we got kind of a foundation down here. I'm going to do like a weird sort of upside down diamond thing. Just because it looks the most similar to what it actually looks like in real life. I'm going to do that in steel for now. We might swap that. This one's a bit of a tricky one again. The colours aren't aren't realistic, shall we say. Alright, so I'm just going underneath with, with a truss. Because this one has a very shallow little deck type thing. And what I'm going to do on this one, rather than doing wood underneath, I'm just going to use rope. Just to, it's quite a long span. I think rope will be a bit better in tension. There's also going to be a bit of movement on this one because it's cable stayed. You'll, you'll see why in a second. Right, so there we are. We're kind of all in place. I don't need to worry about this side being rope underneath. Only this side. I'm just going to add a bit of support over there. I could change that later. Okay, so now we've got the main sort of structure. All right, so I've got this piece in place up here. I'm going to use the line tool just to do a straight line from there down to there. I'm going to fill... Oh, that's meant to be wood. Actually, I'm not going to fill it in with wood. I'm going to just do it manually for now. All right, so I've made sure the number of these matches the number of road sections we have on this side. I'm going to do another line down here. Then I'm going to go along and sort of do an in-between, that sort of thing. All the way down. Nice. Okay, that's really looking like what I'm after. I'm going to do up there. And then sort of along there, I'll just move these about a bit. Excellent. Okay, now I'm just going to truss this bottom bit. Finally, going to add a bit of a curve in around here. Sort of like that, I think. Yeah, I'll just tweak that a little bit. Excellent. Right, we are nearly there, guys. I'm just going to add the cables in. I'm going to start from the top and go straight along like that. And hopefully, if I've spaced these right, these should look nice 
and parallel. Right, I'm not actually too confident how this will work. <laughs> so the thing in real life, like there's so much kind of weight and rigidity in this sort of section that it won't pull things over. I might need to cheat this one. I'm really sorry, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I thought that would happen. So let's just watch that in super slow motion with the stress on. So yeah, you can see down here we're absolutely dying. So first things first, I'll make these few bits down there steel. It's just so much weight, it's proper pulling it over. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to cheat this one. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put one anchor in the middle, just cause it will really spread out the weight on this. I don't think it's down to the design, I think it's purely down to Polybridge not being able to replicate this sort of design in game. Right, so I've got my one extra anchor in the middle and you'll be pleased to know it does now hold! Yay! I'm sorry if you think I cheated though. But let's let's shove a vehicle or two in the level. Let's try a car. I don't think a car will work. There's only a pedestrian bridge as well. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing... Ooh, we're looking okay. Whoa! <laughs> that was out of nowhere. <laughs> Okay, as it's a pedestrian bridge, we're going to just do a little Vesper again. Right, so for those wondering, this is the Sundial Bridge in Redding, California. It's an awesome, like, cantilevered sort of cable stay bridge. And yeah, sorry I couldn't get it quite to work. But I think you'll forgive me, just one anchor point for a little cheat. But yeah, I think it looks quite realistic, to be honest. Let's have a little look around now we've seen the photo. And again, annoyingly, Polybridge doesn't let you see, or doesn't let you have just a single middle span thing. It always shows two. But yeah, so that was our, or one of our American legs. Holy crap, a magpie just landed out the window and is staring at me in the eye. That's really close and terrifying. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the American leg of our world tour. We will be visiting America again in the future. But for now, that's that's all you're getting. We're on to another continent next time, so keep an eye out. And as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you have any suggestions for future real bridges you want to see, let me know in the comments. Awesome. Catch you next time. Bye.